if you're going to have decisions or recommendations, who do you recommend them to? If you have decisions, right, you then have our decisions about what? Who has authority to implement those decisions? Uh, certainly the IGF does not has, have authority to implement the decisions. So it's a balance, right? You, you don't want it to be content-less, right? Actually, the conversations are very deep, and many of them in the workshops over the years that I've been participating have been very substantive, right? Um, and, and they have led to uh, informing processes in other forums that have led to decisions. The value of having the IGF structured, in my mind, the way it is, is that it actually um, creates incentives for people to come and have conversations without, you know, and can think more broadly and more open without having to worry about, oh, if I say something, will somebody make a decision that I won't like? Right? And so therefore, it could actually have a constraint on the providing of information. I think what we want is a forum where everything is put on the table and all points of view can be discussed. And then, of course, at some point, you know, in some forum, there'll have to be decisions being made. For example, there are decisions being made about um, access to intellectual property. Right? The, what? It was again a multi-stakeholder group which... Well, no, no, but, 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 but there are other bodies in which there are decisions being taken. The question is, I agree with the part which I, I take the conflict of interest and I separate it. I did not talk about IGF. I talked about multi-stakeholderism as a module. The same people who promote that say we can't take decision. Let's agree to that. But they do not talk enough about then how decisions get taken and what's the interface of this multi-stakeholderism with the decision-taking processes, the kind of things which you stopped at. Yes. Because for some people, decisions are important. And then it becomes a trade-off between people for which decisions are important and the people for which the status quo is fine. That, that becomes a trade-off. By the way, the status quo, you may make a decision to keep the status quo. So it's not necessarily the status quo as in opposition to making a decision. And I agree, eventual, I mean, and there need to be fora where, there, where decisions are actually made. Because ultimately, decision, and a decision can be to do nothing, a decision can be to do something.